Studies show that owning a pet offers many health benefits. In fact, cuddling and petting an animal has proven to reduce stress, improve self-esteem, lower blood pressure, and improve overall well-being. As a result, healthcare facilities and nursing homes have established pet therapy programs to improve patient care. Joining us now is Dozer, a sweet pup who's in the smile-creating business with his mom, Angie. Good morning, Angie, and of course, Dozer, we're so excited to have him. We're Good thrilled. Good morning. We're thrilled. Well, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got into pet therapy. Well, I was a stay-at-home mom for many years, and when my children grew up, I had this free time on my hand. So when a friend had Great Dane puppies, I brought home two. Knowing that they would be bigger than me, I thought obedience <laughs> class was a good idea. And Dozer's sister, Daisy, was having some medical issues at the time, so Dozer and I took classes together. My plan was to take what I had learned in the classes home and teach mm -hmm. Daisy. Well, part of our homework was to practice basic commands and public places with lots of distractions and that kind of stuff. So we often went to the park. I noticed crowds would form and people would pose for pictures and everybody wanted to meet him and mm -hmm. he wanted to meet everybody at the park. He led me from person to person to person to make sure he greeted everybody. And of course he is as sweet as can be. <laughs> He's so well, sweet. Well, I didn't know what a therapy dog was sure. then. But when I realized his love for people, mm -hmm. I did some, some research and discovered there are therapy dogs, therapy cats, mm -hmm. therapy horses, and even donkeys. What, donkeys? Donkeys. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm appreciating the great Dane we have right now. Oh, good. Well, what, how, how'd you come up with the name Dozer? It's kind of a unique name. Well, Dozer is the runt of the litter. And Great Danes have large litters, so if he wanted to get to his mama, he had to bulldoze his oh, way past his siblings. That's so cute. So he's my little dozer. Well, of course we know there are a lot of benefits to pet therapy. I mean, it's, studies have proven that. Um, tell us a little bit about what you know um, and just what you've seen in dozers' interactions with um, seniors at nursing homes, for example. Oh, I've seen it do so much good. It helps with depression and loneliness. Mm -hmm. The, the socialization and verbal communication. Sometimes it's just laying eyes on them uh -huh. that triggers a memory. Right. And then you have a patient talking about a dog they had when they were young or, or remembering a happier time in their life. Not to mention all the, the workouts you get here <laughs> petting. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, tell us about some of the training that he's had because, I mean, he is an official therapy dog and you're part of an organization. Tell us a little bit right. about that. He is a registered therapy dog. Um, service dogs are certified. They have mm -hmm. different rights, public rights, and do a different job than therapy dogs. But he is registered. We completed four levels of obedience training and then did some extra work on things like alarms, um, the shaky hand pet, you know. Some, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the hands that yeah. come near him aren't real stable. Right. And we want to make sure that, you know, he doesn't flinch or, or get scared of those things. Then he passed his AKC Good Citizen test. And that gave him the skills he needed to pass the therapy dog test. And you're a good citizen, right, Dozer? Yes, he is. <laughs> um, well, um, of course we know he, he does shed a little bit. And it's funny, you actually brought in a lint roller for us, so thank you for that. <laughs> um, so what, if, what happens when you encounter um, an individual that may be allergic? How do you handle that situation? Well, we do, from time to time, encounter people who are allergic. Um, it's usually not a problem for them to just keep a little distance. Mm -hmm. Most of the time being in the room is okay, as long as they don't mm -hmm. touch him. But you get a lot of benefit just from seeing him without the actual touching. Mm -hmm. And if it's a child in one of our reading programs, for instance, I will sit him on my lap to limit the, the <laughs> dog hair on the carpet or surrounding right. area, and just sit the child a little further back. Now, tell us about how he sits on your lap. This is priceless to me. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's 125 pounds, you said, right? Yes, but he has no <laughs> idea he's big. Great Danes um, are all lap dogs. Yeah, it's so <laughs> funny to me. Um, well, tell us about some of the places that you've visited with Dozer. 
Well, Delzer does many regular visits here in Pensacola. Once a month, he's at the Ronald McDonald House. He does a Curry House for Lutheran Ministries here in, in Pensacola and Hope House in Crestview. He's the therapy dog relieving stress at Northwest Florida Regional Airport. Oh, wow. <laughs> he gets around. Right, but he, you, he's also visited some senior um, places, assisted living yes, and, and nursing homes. Yes, he does homes. Belvedere Commons in Fort Walton and Shoal Creek Rehab in Carrington Manor and Crestview. He does the public library and the reading program mm -hmm. at an elementary school. And once a month, he's a greeter at Crestview Walgreens just to make people smile. Oh, gracious. <laughs> you need to come visit us more in Pensacola, Dozer. <laughs> He's so fantastic. So tell me about some of the feedback. I mean, I'm sure you get tons of feedback. And he has a Facebook fan page that has oh. 8,000 or more <laughs> fans, which blows my mind. Yeah. You know, I started the Facebook just so I could remember where I was last week. <laughs> <laughs> so I could keep track in case it didn't right. make it on the calendar. But I had no idea the influence he would have, the way his page has inspired others. We actually have um, a couple of Great Dane therapy dogs in Michigan at the University of Michigan Hospital and other well-known places uh -huh. who were inspired because of Dozer. That's why they got a, a Great Dane and trained for the therapy right. dog program. So that's a, a big plus, you know. I, I feel great about being able to inspire others to get out there and do something. Mm -hmm. We can't do much, but we can all do something. Those are just a big dog doing little things. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and you know, one thing when I think about pet therapy, I may not necessarily think of, about a Great Dane just because of the sheer size. So what makes a Great Dane so good for pet therapy? Oh, I think his size is a great asset, actually. He's the perfect size to approach somebody in a wheelchair or in a hospital bed. I never have to pick him up or place him on somebody's lap for a visit. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get tired, he's right there to lean on. Mm -hmm. So he, he actually does a great job at that. And his ability to show love makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And he does give pretty good hugs. He I've already experienced this. Hugs. Yes. Tell us how he does that. He just kind of backs up into you a little bit. Yeah, it kind of backs into you and then you get the lean. Yeah. And he he wants to be as close to you as possible. So he kind of wraps himself around you and leans into you and really snuggles. Mm -hmm. Well, and you said Dozer has a sister, right? So he tell does. does she get out at all and, and do some of this? Um, she doesn't do therapy visits. I can only go with one dog at one a time. One great Dane at a time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Daisy had some medical issues, so she sure. tires easy. She enjoys staying home and finding new ways to steal food. <laughs> you know, with great Danes. Um, right. There's not too many hiding places mm -hmm. that they can't reach. So, um, but, you know, we take trips to the park and other things to... Uh, to get her out of the house and socialized. Mm -hmm. But they are definitely best of friends. I don't know if Dozer got distracted there. <laughs> or what? We're That's doing acceptable. an interview here. That's acceptable. <laughs> so he, you said he's five years old? He's five. How old is his sister? They're well, from they're, the same they're litter. They're the same litter. OK, right. fantastic. So they've grown up together. Yes. That's pretty adorable. Yes. Pretty adorable. Um, and what username was Daisy? So, well, if somebody wants more information, maybe they want to bring Dozer to their place of business or maybe just hang out with him, where, where can they get more information? Well, you can find more information on our organization, Therapy Dogs Incorporated, at www.therapydogs.com. Or you can send Dozer an email. Dozer's emails <laughs> and Dozer at Yahoo. And Dozer checks his email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dozer's emails at yahoo.com or just click on his Facebook page, Dozer the Therapy Dog. Yes, and there are a lot of really adorable pictures of him. <laughs> and uh, I think I saw a recent one with him in a Santa hat or oh, with yes. his eyes closed, which was really cute. <laughs> really cute. Well, is there anything else you would like our viewers to know about Dozer or pet therapy? or? Uh, I think the thing is just open your eyes a little bit. You know, here in this area, um, 
trying new things is, is difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. And just open up your, your heart and see what they can do. What do you think, Dozer? Have you had a good time? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. We really appreciate you bringing on Dozer. We are, of course, thrilled that he's been able to visit us. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Dozer. <laughs>